Picked up from the Rhythm Cruise Festival and we've come up to uh, Callian Castle or Castle Club of TV. Um, I'm now speaking to a gentleman called Mr. Chris Thomas, who's one of the directors of uh, the Callian Castle. Mr. Thomas, um, can you tell us a little bit of a bit brief history and what's happening now and a little bit of the present and of the future, please? Yes, of course. Well, today we're having guided tours on the hour and uh, I've been able to explain to people the the significance of, of the site from uh, 1176 when Arglui Thrys, Lord Thrys, had the first Eisteddfod at the site uh, through a period of Owain Glyndwr and then another period of uh, Henry Tudor that so stayed here and then and then the, the Civil War, Oliver Cromwell destroyed half the walls and then to the present day really with, with the uh, building of the Georgian house on site and then the, uh, and then the history of the recent occupation and the Wood family were here. Uh, they bought the site in 1940, but the site then went into a, a dereliction. And, and uh, in 2003, the local authority bought the place. And now a charity called Cadugan, a building preservation trust, runs it as a community venture. A 125-year lease has been secured that the community then own, well, run the site as a community venture. We're hoping to have income generating because income has to be a maintained for for running the site so ideas such as as parties and weddings also having a, a large area performance area we can hold 1500 people in an auditorium in the middle of the of the of the lawn and there'll be a stage area so we're looking for anybody who has a band or who has a as a choir to come along and and put their name down for staging events in the next few summers so yeah it's it's a great community project over 200 members contribute to the subcommittees who then uh, report back to the main charitable committee. Where can they actually find out more information online? Yes, the, the site, we have a, a website now which has been uh, developed and actually has a weekly update of what's going on with the, with the restoration. So if anybody's re interested in seeing the site, the works, then go to www.cardigancastle.com. So and when you're on there, you can also register to receive regular, regular bulletins and also become a member for £10 a year, which will give people free entry to any guided tours and also when the site opens in 2014 it'll be the members who get the first chance to see the glorious new redevelopment so it's well worth becoming a member. Oh excellent. Mr Thomas I know you're just about to take another tour around this uh, wonderful building and castle in Cardigan. I uh, thank you very much for uh, talking to us today and thank you very much. Thank you.